You are living with myelodysplasia. Or I have been. You have been. It's in remission. Are you have... <clears throat> well, you know, with, with diseases of this sort and all cancers... Cancer it, of the uh, bone marrow? It, it, it's... Myelodysplasia is not exactly cancer of the bone marrow, but if untreated, it inevitably leads to leukemia. Um, and the trouble with all these diseases is you never know that you've got every last cell. Um, you can only detect down to a certain level. But down to the level that anybody can detect and in terms of how I feel and my stamina and all that, it seems to be gone. And I'm very lucky. Because you had a sister who uh, my sister, now my sister enabled Carrie. you to have a bone marrow transplant. That's one. And also the enormous advances in scientific, uh, in medical science in just the last few years. If I had had this thing five or ten years ago, I would be dead sure as shooting. And then finally, the love and support of my family. All of those have played a central role. So you're optimistic? I'm you very say? optimistic, I'm, uh, or at least very hopeful. And just share with us, because of your, your sense of, of language and, and, and your sense of understanding and, and being reflective and introspective, what, this, what do you think about and what does it do for you to I didn't to have, have any near death say to you? I didn't no, have any near-death experiences. I, would, I didn't have a religious conversion, but, but you I thought about what it would be like to die. Certainly, and what it would be like for my my family, right. and and uh, I didn't much think about what it would be like for me because I don't think it's likely there's anything that you think about after you're dead. That's um, it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, long, dreamless sleep. I'd love to believe the opposite, but I don't know of any evidence. But one thing, faith, Carl, faith. One <laughs> thing that it has done is to enhance my uh, sense of appreciation for the, the beauty of life uh, and of the universe and the, the sheer joy of being alive. You had a healthy portion of that before this, but even you, it happens to. Oh, there's no appreciation question. Appreciation no of question. beauty Every moment, and every... Every inanimate object, uh, to say nothing of, of the exquisite complexity of, uh, of living beings. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you imagine missing it all, and suddenly it's so much more precious. May you live a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joe. Pleasure. Same here. Carl Sagan, Science as a Candle in the Dark. The title of the book is A Demon Haunted World. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.